So it's Sunday. It is still raining uh, on Memorial Day weekend. And so that sucks. There will be no grilling and s'mores and whatever for us today. But I heard tell that it's going to be nice tomorrow. So maybe we'll get to do that. But whether it's raining or not, doesn't super matter for Mr. Soap and Clay because he works when he has the time here to work. And so he's currently building cabinets for built-ins for the office right now, just one building over from the building that I'm filming in. I'm sure at this point, if you guys have followed along, you must think that my backyard has some sort of like weird compound vibes. And you're not wrong, really, lots of buildings. But anyway, so if you hear the saw and the things, that's what that is. And I'm sorry, he has to get work done too. And it would be very, very rude of me to go out and say, hey, can you be quiet so I can film a video? Because that's rude. Uh, today we are actually going to be playing around with a 100% avocado soap. So we're going to have a recipe, we're going to pour the things, and we're going to test the things because that's what we do. I guess I'm going to tell you more about that in just a minute, even though I just told you a whole bunch about that. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 284 of 365 days of soap, and today, as I said, we are doing a 100% avocado oil soap. Now, the reason we're doing that is because every time I do a deep dive on an oil or a butter that we use in soap, I also want to see what the soap and the fatty acid properties of the oils will do in a finished, you know, saponified bar of soap with using just that one oil or butter on its own. And so, you know, this is no exception. When I did the avocado oil deep dive, I did talk about how on its face, the fatty acid profile of avocado oil looks pretty good. Like it would yield a pretty decent bar of soap. So let's see whether or not that's the case, you know, now. Happy Memorial Day Sunday, and it's still raining. And here's the recipe. 5% super fat, 25% uh, lye composition. So that's what it looks like. About 2.4 to three times the water to the lye, which is actually weird uh, with this because I will not be putting kale and clay into this. Also, look, my carafe's clean. You're welcome. And um, yeah, the reason why the carafe is clean is because this is the very first thing that I am making today. I will make 30 other things using said carafe and it will not be as clean by the end of the day. But at the end of the day, everything gets cleaned. So yay. Anyway, I mean, not to say that it doesn't get cleaned in between. Everything gets wiped out, whatever. It's all a thing. Anyway, today, very, very simple, small, short video because we're doing a 100% avocado oil soap. And as I said, don't really know that, that water concentration is necessary because I'm not putting kale and clay in this. The reason I'm not putting kale and clay in this is because I did not remember if I had put clay into any of the rest of the 100% dot, dot, dot soaps that we have done following the deep dives. And I didn't look it up. So no clay. So, yeah, I probably should have looked it up. Did not look it up. Uh, easy pour. Just, just pour it. Now, this particular uh, soap will be put into the oven for CPOP and gel because I know that I did that for all of the rest of them. So, 
that standard of consistency remains. As far as the Kaylin Clay, as I said, I don't remember what I did. Could I have looked it up? Yes. Did I? No. So, uh, point is, I don't think I need this much water because I did not put clay in, and that's usually the reason why I use so much extra water. Crazy itty bitty video. And as I said, C popped and gelled, but still, I didn't cover it. And so that's, that's a fair amount of soda ash there. Like, uh, for sure. But getting it out of the mold, no problems whatsoever. I pulled these out of the mold about 12 hours after I uh, poured them, really. And yes, I am going to test them right away. And for people who, you know, come on to the channel and ask questions like, well, isn't that bad? Does that not hurt your hands? No, it doesn't. Saponification is complete. These are technically safe to use. They are soft because they're brand new. And so, yes, they will get harder. They will continue to lose water weight. And the aforementioned extra water in all of this and no clay to sort of soak it up means it's going to take a little bit longer. But even getting through that soda ash layer is kind of annoying. And even after kind of wipe wiping it off, that lather feels weird. It's slimy. It's super moisturizing, like it really is. But do you see that? Uh, it, it feels like snot on my hand and I don't like it. So, I mean, if you're into super moisturizing bars and you don't mind the slime, then hey, that's a recipe. Uh, stay tuned for things that I would do to the soap if you wanted to do a 100% avocado oil soap. And there they are, the 100% avocado oil soaps. And for my part, I'm super glad I did a teeny tiny batch. And the reason for that is I don't like the sliminess of it. It feels just like an olive oil soap. To that, a very, very long cure might make this lather less offensive to my hands because I don't like slimy things. And so, you know, I will test these bars again in a few months and a few months after that and continue to keep you guys updated. But for what it is, it's very, very moisturizing, hence the slimy, very tiny, tight little bubbles. Not a lot of lather payoff though, and I do like a good lather. So for me, it's a no, but if you like, you know, 100% olive oil soaps, this is going to be pretty similar. So there's another option for sure. I am betting that it's going to be pretty similar in cure time. And so I would, if I was doing a 100% avocado oil soap in future, probably put sugar in to the lye solution to increase that lather and definitely lots of clays to help out with the bar hardening as quickly as possible. So just take that for what it is and maybe a water discount, but there's a good jumping off point. So you know what it looks like? Just kind of basic. Uh, if you are interested in seeing what other deep dives I do, all the things, you know, subscribe, do the things. That would be awesome. For those of you who have subscribed and done all the things, hey, Sudzers, you're awesome. How's your Memorial Weekend going? Mine's been wet. And no s'mores. So that's sad. But, you know, such is life. I really do appreciate you joining me for another round of 365 days of soap. I am out of here for today, but I will see all of you guys again tomorrow for another round of soapy fun. Bye.